Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill from the Marriage, Kids & Money podcast, and I'm here in sunny Lake Tahoe, California, with a group of FinCon alumni for our FinCon Ski Week. And man, did we have fun. <laughs> As we're heading into our 10th anniversary for FinCon, we thought it would be fun to check in with some of these self-proclaimed money nerds and learn their favorite memories from past FinCons and their plans for their businesses this year. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Nick True from Mapped Out Money. My favorite FinCon memory might be doing late night karaoke <laughs> uh, with Tom Drake and a few others, mostly from a standpoint of like, there's all these people that I've looked up to for years and, and are doing all these amazing things and helping people in all these amazing ways. And at the end of the day, like, they're just normal humans that I enjoy hanging out with and they like to get up there and embarrass themselves on stage and um, that, that's just been the best. So I, I, I look on that with very fond memories. So my wife and I run our business together and we recently stopped doing annual planning and instead are planning in short six week cycles. So I would say my business goal would be um, if we can just execute at like 85% of everything we say we're going to do for any given cycle, if we can do that consistently for the whole year, I think that'll get us to where we want to go. Hi, I am Pete McPherson from doyouevenblog.com. It's actually the, the mentoring and mentee process on both sides of that. I love, love, love the first time I ever went to FinCon. I was a mentor for a brand new blogger, like somebody who was completely brand new. And they were like really engaged. It was fun. It was exciting to me. I felt like some energy there. And I got an email from this particular uh, lady like, Three months later, she's like, I did it. Like, I started. Like, I have it here. It was just really inspiring to be a part of that. So the mentor-mentee process, I think, is like possibly one of the best benefits of the entire thing. My goals for 2020 would be to have three product launches in, for Do Even Blog and the business and just generally continue a growth trend. Like, there's no specific revenue goals other than that. I just want to keep doing what I'm doing because I like it and I'm happy with that. I want to get these three product launches off the ground and just continue growing. Hi there, my name is Dustin Matthews from WealthFit and the Get WealthFit Show. So I was blown away going to my uh, first FinCon because of the level of access in the community. And so growing up, I had seen Gene Shotsky on, on TV on the, on the Today Show. And so we had just launched a podcast and you know, again, I had that confidence walking up and I simply asked if, if she would be on the show and gave her some details about the show. And, got on to interview her right there in FinCon, which was, was quite an experience. And I can tell you going to other conferences and going to other events, to be able to get access to you know, high level folks or people that are in TV or in the media, uh, it's a challenge. And so doing that was incredibly powerful. The other part of that ex same experience was the uh, mentor relationship. So it was my first uh, event. I went there and signed up. I would love to be mentored. And I got connected to somebody that's uh, very well known in the community gave advice, I was able to add value, and then I was able to put together a podcast interview and create the relationship that way. So at the end of the day, the, the big reason why I love FinCon and the events is simply access to such a giving community. So I have a really specific business goal this year, and that's to find four partners. And when I mean a partner, this is somebody that can generate 25,000 leads plus and put together a partnership opportunity because we have a unique method. And the reason for the specificity is uh, advice I had received from the community. The more specific you are, the easier it is to attract that or to find people that can put you in that conversation. So that'd be a, a big piece of advice too, is be specific with your goals. My name is Miranda Marquette from MirandaMarquette.com and also FreelanceWriterAcademy.com. <laughs> There's no way to have an absolute favorite memory. But I think my favorite ones are when we are um, staying up all night in the lobby talking having a good time and then getting in the elevator to go back to bed at like five in the morning smelling of sweat and shame so that is that is like my favorite <laughs> yeah so well launching the freelance writers academy so it's very exciting um, i'm doing this with two business partners and we are launching a freelance writers academy that will have courses for uh, beginning intermediate and advanced we'll also be doing um, like q a's one-on-one -on -one coaching and a bunch of other great resources that we'll keep adding to the site over time so it'll be a really good membership ongoing membership resource as well as like an initial resource for courses i am ashley barnett from hitpublish.com and i'm in the content editor for pt money and choosefi.com 
I'm Lacey Langford. My website is LaceyLangford.com, and my podcast is The Military Money Show, and I specialize in helping the military community make, save, and invest money wisely. Every year, my favorite thing of FinCon is the pro networking. I feel like that has been the key to like the slingshot of my career, my, my website, sponsorship, things like that. Every year, the first year I had no idea what I was doing, but each year I've tried to improve and be more prepared and um, really be present in those mini sessions with potential sponsors. And I've learned so much from them. Even sometimes I don't walk away with something in the moment, but I've learned and then that's my biggest money maker is going to the pro networking. So hands down every year is my favorite part. Yeah, I want to launch my course and help other bloggers who are having struggles getting traction with their blog to improve their content and actually meet their blogging goals. My goal for 2020 is to have more consistent income regularly and to, um, I've done a beta launch for my course, the Financial Coaching Business Builder, so I'm looking forward to continuing to grow that course in 2020. Hi, my name is Dustin Heiner. I have actually two podcasts, Master Passive Income Podcast, where I talk about rental properties and Successfully Unemployed, where I interview awesome people that have become unemployed well. I would say it's not like a specific memory, it's a a culmination of everything, of all the networking that I've done with so many fantastic people. So as far as any event or anything like that, it's all wrapped up in my head of all three events that I've gone to all from 2017, 18, and 19. It's all the great people. And so that's what I love about coming to FinCon is meeting so many great people, them helping me in my business, I'm helping in, the, in their business and all that sort of stuff. So that's what I love. So my goal is right now is to grow the Successfully Unemployed podcast where I basically started about a month ago. So like sometime in December, launched it. And I figured let's try to get that. So I would like to get that one going pretty well where I actually surpasses my other podcast. My other podcast is going pretty well. So I would like to see it grow pretty quick. Hey, what's up? I'm Cody Berman. I am the co-host of The Fi Show, also a co-founder of the Financial Freedom Summit and co-founder of the Gold City Venture Side Hustle Courses. I just love the networking, man. Like, just like we're doing now in the ski con in the lodge, just hanging out with people, having a few drinks, kicking back, talking business ideas, talking about anything, just talking about life. I think the networking is so valuable at FinCon. And honestly, I can attribute 90% of my success to this day just by being a person that someone can talk to. Just networking, talking to people, meeting new people, shaking hands, giving them your insights, taking some insights from them. And I think that's one of the most powerful things and one of the biggest things I've taken away from FinCon. Goals for this year, definitely, like I just mentioned, the summit is a huge goal. It's a huge project that we're tackling and we just wanna make it the best experience possible for the thousand plus attendees that are coming. We wanna make it an awesome experience for the speakers like yourself, Andy. And yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. Wanna take my podcast to the next level, wanna take the courses to the next level, wanna spend more time in the blog and wanna start managing my time more effectively for the highest impact, highest ROI activities. Hey, this is, I'm Robert Farrington from The College Investor. You know, my favorite memories always come late at night at FinCon. Like, FinCon has a lot of great courses, it has the best community, it has the best people, really great knowledge, but what I always get from FinCon is that personal connection. And so, you know, the thing that's come to know, it's become known as LobbyCon, right? So like late at night at FinCon, we're all just hanging out in the lobby, having a great time, having a few drinks, just talking with your friends. You know, it's half business, half personal, getting to know people, that is, every time hands down my best memory of FinCon. You know, one of our big goals this year is to grow Loan Buddy. So two FinCons ago, late night in Orlando, my buddy Ryan and I came up with the idea for Loan Buddy to help people with their student loan debt. And uh, here we are almost eh, 18 months later and uh, it's a full-fledged software program. We've helped over $300 million in student loan debt so far. And so we're just growing that, building that out and helping people. So even though the college investors are our main gig, we created this tool to help our readers and everybody else that is struggling with their student loan debt.